Welcome back my friends to another reactive video. I hope you're having a good day and if you're not, I hope it gets better. This video is from Blue Cam, so let's see what it's all about. Let's go! On May 20th, 2022, police were advised of a male that had a felony warrant and a revoked driving status in La Crosse, Wisconsin. The male was identified as 24-year-old Stephen Johnston. An officer observed Stephen leave a residence in a black Buick and conducted a traffic stop. Upon approach, the officer asked if his name was Stephen, and he shook his head no. When the officer told him to exit the vehicle, Stephen quickly put the car in gear and began to accelerate. Steven? Steven? Yeah. Steven Johnston? Yeah. Hop out of the car for me, revoked. Stop! Ah! I know he's taking off on me going through a yard. The officer deployed his taser, causing him to lose control of the vehicle briefly, but he was still able to escape. Hop out of the car for me, revoked. He's taking off oh. on me, going through a yard. Now he's going westbound towards the Street. It's going to be a Stephen Johnston. Hi, Steven. I did get a taser deployment, but he fled. Copy, westbound towards the Stephen just had one of our cars over there. Standing in the window. Where's that? Yeah. Straight? Moments later, he was located, but fled at a high rate of speed. Bring him right there. It's not a good idea, I'm just saying. Due to the heavy traffic and Stephen's reckless driving, the pursuit was terminated. Look out for the civilians, you guys. And of course, still northbound, probably 65 miles per hour. I'm gonna terminate pursuit. Witnesses stated they saw Stephen flee on foot and run into the Norwood Inn Hotel. The public security cameras, you guys. People's eyes. I get away. Run out of gas or what? It's a Run that way? Okay. 904 information. Go ahead. At a passerby state, he fled on foot. Uh, I believe northbound, kind of towards the town hall hotel area. This uh, vehicle's in the lane, so I gotta stick here, but if someone else can come this way. They said somewhere that way. I don't know. He ran out of his flip flops, so he. Probably not too far. Do you, uh, uh, you want me to take the vehicle or you want me to leave it and start walking? Yeah, if you want to just take a loop around the block, maybe see if you can come across him. Uh, no, he's got long blonde hair, shorter guy. I can't remember his shirt or anything. Okay. Yeah. You guys, man, come on, man. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. I understand why people, they ain't supposed to be driving. That boy had a warrant. And um, it's not going to help him run from the laws. I'm just saying. They're going to catch him. He's going to get 
more charges, fleeing, you know, <laughs> they even hit him with the taser, man. Oh, that person's going to have to fix their mailbox. So I don't know if the city does it. I don't know how that works, to be honest. But that could have been dangerous, man. He could run into a house. I'm just saying. <laughs> he got lucky with the mailbox and throw the house. I mean, the you know, the gap around the houses and stuff. But uh, I don't know why they do it. I'm just, I just don't know anything. He, why is everybody we watch running from the cops, man? Got the wrong attire on, or, or at least don't know, got good shoes, man. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> they not that smart. <laughs> You know you got um, I ain't no opposite of I ain't gotta give no try give no experts to criminals man just don't be doing this crazy stuff. Down to the church. Probably the first lap somewhere in that area if you wanna check it out. What's he wearing? Uh blonde long hair. I'm not sure what he's wearing. Shorter guy, he's barefoot. Um I tase him either in the chest or the face, so he should stand out, yeah. Thanks. Especially with no shoes. Do you mind sitting on this? Uh, yeah, um, just have him drop it at RPD right here. Okay, thank you. I do want to know if he ran out of gas. On Alaska car, if you want to go to the west side of the building and cover that door. That's a lot of room. Hey, someone I had a chase with ran in here, blonde hair, no shirt, no shoes. I, nobody's came up in, the, in that direction by me. They came in the no shirt, no shirt. B door. And I'm not seeing anybody on camera. No okay, um, if you see him come by, call 911, okay? Thank you. Oh, boom, let's go swimming. Are people breaking the boats? Is that the problem? No, we just had a pursuit that the guy fled into here on foot, so... Well, that's what... Uh, they, when we came here the other day, that's, I guess, what people do here. Well, it's a shitty hotel, so I wouldn't well, be surprised. Shitty. I would try to lock up whatever you got. Yeah, that's why I don't put it outside. Yeah. Hey. There you go. Good. You see a guy, shirtless, blonde hair, running this building at all? I'm just stepping out right now. Oh, you didn't see that or nothing? No, I haven't. Okay. Thank hey, you. Lucia. Hello. Hi. I wonder if you saw a guy, uh, long blonde hair, no shirt on, come up through here at all? Mm, no. Okay. Hi. Hi. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. You guys seen anybody, uh, longer blonde hair guy, no shirt, blue jeans, shorts? Um, uh, no. Okay. No. Well, if you do, let us know, please. Uh, he fled from a traffic stop and ran into here. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Police department. Dangerous to be looking under the bed. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a little while. Okay. All right. That's the guy we're looking for if you see him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if I do see something like that, I'll give you a guys a call. You know yep, thank you. Hotel staff said they had a vacant room propped open to clean. The door was now closed and the bolt was locked. Housekeeper just called down to me. 249? She op prompt opened the door. Okay. She went to go use this kind of key. Yep. And it's dead bolted now. Okay. Okay, and the only way is with a hard key. Okay. And that don't make sense to us, you know? And she didn't want to open it or anything mm -hmm. without you guys being here. But she's up there. Nobody's got the room reserved? No, because it's out of order because of the toilet. Okay. Okay. She has a hard were, key? She has a hard, hard key. Okay. okay. Perfect. Yep. And she wanted you guys to be here just in case. Awesome. All right. I'd Thank you. I'd rather have that. And hide, you guys. Oh, the doggy. 
Ready to go to work. Ready to go to work. No, no. We get in front of you, boss. I'm gonna be following your pizza the whole way up there. Thank you. Do some analysis. Makes my mouth just shed. Team. Police department, if you're in here, come on out. Police department, if you're in here, come on out. Do it now. If you don't come out, we're going to send a dog and you're going to get bit. Say something now. Steven, you're under arrest. Come on now. After police gave Steven several warnings, he unlocked the door and surrendered. Speak up. He's coming. Get out here. Hands up. Hands up first. Hands up. Nothing stupid. You're getting bit. Do it now. I see one hand, two hands. Unhook the chain. Unhook the chain. Unhook the chain. Keep those hands up. Watch him. Yeah, watch him. Drop to your knees. Drop to your knees. You guys, that was some suspenseful thing right there, man. I like the dogs, man. I'm an animal lover. I'm going to be honest. I love them, man. But I don't want to see a dog get on another person, especially if they're acting dumb. So I'm kind of like giving claps to this man, not because he ran and stuff like that, because that was stupid, but because he, he surrendered because you don't want no dog on you. You can see the staff. It's just like looking like she's like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? You know, but this dude was not smart, man. He could have gotten arrested with less charges. Now he got more charges. <laughs> Y'all let me know what you think about this man, you know, his actions, and he was smart. I know, 495. <laughs> 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 He's in custody, yeah. Thank you. Yep, he was. Excuse me. Thank you. Take a break. Come, take a break. Good girl. They had a probation warrant. It had been done. Sat in jail for a day or two, and that's it. It all. She's got it a phone, 200 bucks in cash. 200 bucks in cash in left front pocket. Okay. Are you injured at all? Hmm? You injured? Lean back, please. Okay. 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 Seems like he crashed. I didn't notice that. I thought he ran out of gas. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Persistence. Persistence paid off, huh? Sweet. Another day in the police officer's job. Can you put the money back in your pocket? Okay, I got your phone on your shirt. Where'd you get the new set of clothes? Are they? You just took them off for a while? Oh, you knew I was pouring fucking sweat, bro. I was pouring sweat. That's 
hit a run. Stephen was charged with felony counts of first degree reckless endangering safety and fleeing eluding an officer. Ultimately, he pled guilty to fleeing an officer and had his other charges dismissed. Stephen was sentenced to 40 days in county jail and his driver's license was revoked for six months. All his citations were dismissed. Want to represent Code Blue Cam? Check out. Wow, you got the merch, you guys. Wow, 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 wow. He turned a two day thing into a 40 day thing. I don't know how somebody wanted to level up to that in jail, but clearly that's what he chose. I don't. I don't know what went through his mind, you guys. Like, that's not going to help you, but he made his choices, and hopefully he learns after that to do it again. Some people don't care no more. They get used to going to jail, I guess. But let me know what you thought about this man, the police officers, the dog. And thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button. It really helps this video out, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Want to watch another video? You can watch this one right here, and I will see you next time. Bye.